Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Ellis. I would like to read a book to you by Mark Brown. The book is Arthur's Chicken Pox. It was Monday morning, but Arthur's family was thinking about Saturday's trip to the circus. I wonder if the knife thrower will be back, said Father. The trapeze artists are my favorite, said Mother. I like the clowns best, said Arthur. I like the cotton candy, said D.W., Arthur thought about the circus in school, too. For his art project, he drew a picture of the circus. Then at lunch, he noticed he didn't feel well. He went to the school's nurse. You have a temperature, said the nurse. Then Arthur's dad arrived to take him home. I'm going to get better fast, said Arthur. I don't want to miss the circus. D.W. was surprised to see Arthur when she got home from group play. What's wrong with you, she asked. You don't look sick to me. But I feel sick, said Arthur. I think you're faking, said D.W. At dinner time, Arthur got to have chicken noodle soup on the sofa. Why do I have to eat at the table, asked D.W. You're not sick, said Mother. Well, I think Arthur is just pretending, said D.W. Eat your spinach, said Father. The next morning, Arthur was really sick. Arthur has polka dots said D.W. laughing. Too bad he'll miss the circus. I'll see if Grandma Thora can stop by later, said Mother. She knows all about chicken pox. That afternoon, Grandma Thor arrived. I bought you some treats to help you feel better, she said. After school, Arthur friends stopped by with get well cards. Muffy bought Arthur all his homework. Father bought Arthur some stickers and cherry cough drops. Can I have a cough drop? asked D.W. You're not sick, said Arthur. I feel all itchy, said Arthur after dinner. Try not to scratch, said Grandma Thor. But I want to scratch, said Arthur. I'll make a special soothing bath, said Grandma Thor. That might help. Arthur was allowed to drink juice in the tub with a crazy straw. If you're a good little boy and don't scratch your spots, said D.W., I'll bring you home a balloon from the circus. After his bath, 
Grandma Thor gave Arthur a back rub and told him a story. I think I'm ready for my hot tea now, said Arthur. And don't forget the extra honey, please. Can I have a back rub, asked D.W.? Maybe later, said Grandma Thor. Right now, I have to get Arthur's tea. Suddenly, D.W. got an idea. Mm. She went to the bathroom and closed the door. First, D.W. put baby powder all over her face to look pale. Then she looked through her marker box for a pink one. She gave herself spots, lots of spots. D.W. made loud moaning sounds as she came down the stairs. I don't feel well, she said. Good heavens, said Grandma Thor. You have them too? Let me take your temperature. When no one was looking, D.W. held the thermometer under hot water. Oh dear, said Grandma Thor. When she read the thermometer, I feel itchy too, said D.W. I think I need a soothing bath. Of course, said Grandma Thor. And how about some juice, asked D.W. with a crazy straw. Of course, darling, said Grandma Thor. D.W. didn't notice that while she was in the tub, all her pink spots washed off. But Grandma Thor noticed. Dora Winfrey, she scolded. I'm very disappointed in you. Well, how's our little patient? D.W. asked Arthur the next afternoon. Still itchy, said Arthur. And still sick. That's too bad, said D.W. She moved the telephone near Arthur. Excuse me, she said. I have to make an important phone call. Hello, Emily. I have an extra ticket for the circus on Saturday. Want to go with me? Great. Bye. Ma, moaned Arthur. D.W. is torturing me. By Friday, Arthur was feeling well enough to go out to dinner with his family. I guess I'll be going to the circus after all, he said. Oh, that's just grand, said Grandma Thora. D.W., you better call Emily, said Mother. Maybe I should wait, said D.W. Who knows? Arthur might get the flu. But Arthur didn't get the flu. The next morning, he was up early and dressed for the circus. 
Everyone else was ready for the circus too. Everyone except D.W. Hurry up, D.W. Or we will le be late. Called mother. D.W. came down the stairs singing. It's cotton candy I love to eat. It's so squishy. It's so sweet. Mother just looked at D.W. Oh, boy, said Father. Good heavens, said Grandma Thor. Arthur started laughing. <laughs> What's so funny, asked D.W. Back to bed, young lady, said Mother. But what about the circus, cried D.W. Don't worry, said Arthur. If you are a good little girl and don't scratch, I'll bring you home a balloon. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. I really enjoyed it. I remember having the chicken pox myself. Boys and girls, I challenge you to video yourself reading a story and send it to Miss Ellis, Miss Ashley Wilson, or your teacher. Share it. I want to hear your beautiful voices. Thank you. See you soon.